Okay, so I'll explain this situation in a second, but we've got a lake week. So basically, my parents have always, always wanted a lake house and they found one. Um, we're not moving though, we're gonna rent it out, but there's nothing in here. Like, this is my setup. Great, that works. Um, however, my dog is downstairs. She refuses to come up the stairs, so I have to sleep downstairs with her so she doesn't cry in the murder basement, which is really fun. No one was murdered down there, but that's just how it feels. But basically, I'm gonna be reading a ton of books and just hanging out, so I thought I'd bring you guys with me. We got here super late last night. I think me and my dad are about to go to the farmer's market in Greenville, which is like an hour away. So we're in South Carolina. That's the plan. Yay, so excited! <laughs> I'm so tired. But Greenville's super cute. I know we're gonna go back again. There's a really cute bookstore and I wanna go in it because I know that I wanna buy something while I'm here. But we got back and it was so funny because my dad was showing me around where all the deer are. Two deer walk up and we have my dogs and we really just hang out and stare at each other for like five minutes. But I think I'm gonna go put my hammock up and just kind of hang out and read for a little bit. Honestly, I think I'm gonna finish Rock, paper, scissors, which is surprising because I've actually read this pretty fast for my pace, at least. So yeah, I think I'm gonna sit out there and finish that real quick and just hang out. Oh my God, I'm so tired. finished rock paper scissors mm, I gave it like three stars wasn't my fave wasn't my least fave there was like there was good things about it but any now I'll go more in depth about it in my like reading thrillers at the like video I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet but also it stormed really bad last night um that only lasted for like 30 minutes but by that time it was already dark so we didn't go out on the lake all right plan is today so I'm excited. Since I finished this though, I think I'm gonna start my heart as a chainsaw. Literally just because apparently the series it's in is called the Indian Lake Trilogy, I'm pretty sure. And so I saw a lake in it and I was like, gotta read it. But I also brought people we meet on vacation as like a little palate cleanser. So I don't know, we'll see how I feel.
find the cemetery. Very scary. So the lady I told you about that used to walk around, she was kind of the witch doctor. The guy built the house after she disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to her. She would have been over 100. And uh, he'd be in his house at night and he'd hear knocking at like, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night, always on a Friday or Saturday or something like that. Uh -huh. Knock, 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 somebody at the door. He's on an island. He'd go to the door and there's nobody there. So then he put something, tape or something across the door to where he walked through it to knock, he would break it. Yeah. He heard the knocking again and he went and opened the door and the tape wasn't broken. Mm. Oh, so, you did tell me about that. Yeah. yeah. So now they say if you sleep on the island, a full moon or something, I forgot what it, it triggers it, but you'll hear the knocking. You want to go woman, camping? A woman <laughs> walking around singing. I thought mom would love that. <laughs> not making sense to me so i think i'm gonna pick up what even is it my brain just turned off people we meet on vacation i'm gonna pick that up as like a palate cleanser because i'm really having a difficult time right now and if i can't read that then i know that it's me and even if i can it's probably still me but <clears throat> it's not a flow we'll say that So it's been a couple days since I've updated you guys. Um, really excited about my little book haul though. So I ended up getting Babel, Babel, I don't know, RF Kwong. I've been so excited to read her writing. So I don't know, I don't know what it is. I just feel like I would really like this. Then I'm really excited to read it also. I was so intimidated about how big it was and everybody always talks about it, but honestly, like looking at it and holding it now, it doesn't feel that intimidating. So it's fine. Ooh, but then also, uh, I've been waiting for this one. I'm so excited. I am desperately trying to get in to my tennis era. And I feel like this is gonna, this is gonna be it. Carrie Soto's back finally came out in paperback this month. Went ahead and got this one. Uh, and of course I'm still reading People We Meet On Vacation. And by reading, I mean, I've read like two chapters, but I'm really excited. I finished, oh, what was it called? Still House Lake, I think. Wasn't, it wasn't hitting. It really just wasn't hitting for me. So instead of push myself through another mystery thriller that I won't end up liking, which is so weird because mystery thrillers, I love them, but I so few and far between end up giving them high ratings. So I feel bad because I like the genre a lot, but I feel like it's really difficult to get it right. You know what I mean? Like all the way right. But since I've come to terms that I am in a book slump, I'm just gonna stick with these. For now, I'll probably go back and forth between Carrie Soto and um, people we meet on vacation just because I know that I'm gonna finish those. Um, so yeah, that's, 
the plan for the rest of the time. All right.